what is this called again? All right, I'm going to show you how to do a couple of pieces of jewelry from the aerator now that you've taken it apart. You're going to need three lengths of chain. Um, these two are the same length, and these are for around the neck. And this one is a little bit shorter, maybe an inch shorter, and some uh, jump rings. I'm going to use three jump rings and the cap, the little cup thing. Oh, love it. It's awesome. There's slots that go all the way around. I'm going to just throw one of my jump rings into one of the slots. It's going to hang through two slots. I don't know if you can really see that. Anyway, then we're going to take one of the chains and then close it up. Two empty holes, and then I'm going to put in the next one. Um, it's hanging from the two holes. So there's a space of two holes. You can see in the top there's a space of two between um, where the jump rings have eloped with the cap. Good times. And now I'm just going to throw one at the bottom. And this part, obviously, this part hangs down. And this part goes around the neck. And you can just add a closure to the ends. And that is um, your aerator Y necklace. Like I said, in the original raw materials tutorial, these can get kind of rough on the edges. You might want to wax the edges or glue them. So for this one, you're going to need three screens, four jump rings, and some chain. Oh, oh. Alright, so the easiest way to go about punching holes in your screen, you can see that I have two holes in there is to line it up how you like it and just use a safety pen and just kind of work it gently in and once you've established a point of entry you just run it through and you want to do it really gently because um you don't want to bend the screen did the holes in there all right so now we're going to put the jump ring through two of the screens. We're just going to put those screens together. Oh my goodness, so fun. Look at that. It looks kind of like a mouse head. But we can't say which one it looks like. Otherwise, it would be copyright infringement. Yeah. And you're going to take your remaining jump ring and connect your chain and stuff. Yay, and when you wear it, it looks kind of like a Venn diagram. It doesn't look like a Venn diagram, never mind. You could totally turn this into looking like a Venn diagram. That's all your own business. Now, I know you're probably thinking, um, dude, I'm a dude. I would never wear stuff like this. That's okay, because I did this one a couple days ago with the cap, and it is made of reclaimed hemp. So, you can wear this if you are a dude or if you just don't like um necklaces whatever you you can do whatever so um i love these uh faucet parts and rock on because this is a good time this is a total good time